We're going to be doing the numbers on a Cleveland Heights triplex. Simon, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise. And folks, this is the show where we work together to build, grow, start, expand your real estate rental portfolio. That's what we do here, and that's what I'm doing for my man Simon today. Simon, brother, you are an investor. You're living out there in California Uh, Cleveland is a market that is on your short list. You're looking to expand your portfolio. I know you got another property out there in Florida, and uh, you want to do some deals here in Cleveland. You know, the cash flow, it's unlike anything you see in the rest of the country, right? And you had sent me a triplex, okay, 3309 DeSoto. Now, I've actually looked at this triplex for another client. Uh, Turns out that client, he wanted to go another route. Uh, We were doing a whole package of properties and videos for him. So he was not interested in making a move on this particular property. So the first thing I want to do with today's show is I want to show you the footage from his original analysis. 3309 DeSoto Avenue, Cleveland Heights, 44118. Man, you love Cleveland Heights. It's a nice B-class neighborhood. Now, they have not given us a lot of pictures to go off of just this one exterior photo. This is a fully occupied triplex. What the agent had said, by the way, this is uh, listed by uh, Russell Real Estate. Very large income producing triplex, recently painted exterior, newer vinyl windows, front porch replaced in 2019. New garage, in, uh, new garage doors installed and new entrance doors. Both first and second floors have two beds, one bath. Kitchen, living, and dining, rooms plus covered porch and parking spot in the garage. Third floor unit is one bedroom, living room, kitchen, and bath. Looking for your first home to own, occupy one of the units, rent the other two. With interest rates this low, you're sure to cash flow and put something away for a rainy day. Well, it wouldn't make no damn sense for people who are trying to live in one of the units to buy this because we got three tenants, okay? Rents, they're coming in hot, dude. 678, 714, four and a quarter. So this thing's bringing in 21, over 21 G's a year, man. Now, they have listed this about a week ago, okay? Been on the market seven days. They listed it at $129,000. And I think uh, you shouldn't really mess around, dude. I think you're going to have to pay $129,000 if you want to buy this. I think this, uh, it's not often you find nice neighborhoods, Properties with three tenants all paying pretty close to market rate. I mean, we're we're close, right? Like we could ideally, we should probably be able to get the rents for the two bedroom units up to seven fifty, and that one bedroom unit probably up to about five. But I mean, we're still bringing in some pretty decent cash flow right now. So I think you're going to need to spend every bit of that one twenty nine nine. Now they have not specifically said anything about the POS, but at that price point, we're going to negotiate to try to get you a clear POS report. If you're watching and you're like, what in the hell is a POS, pause this show right now. Go to the show notes. I have a video that explains what POS is. Check that out. Going forward, I'm just going to assume you all know what I'm talking about. So I think we should have a clear POS. I don't think you need to worry about uh, doing any POS repairs for the price you'd be paying, which is $129.9. Plus, they talked about you know how much work they just did. So I think we got a professional landlord in there that could get the work done for us, right? So... If all that pencils out, bro, 1817 comes in, I anticipate 1,171 going out, leaving you with an NOI of 646 a month. Now, very important, though, this is an average, okay? This is an average. This is like taking several properties like this over the long term and breaking them down on their performance average. In real estate investing, guys, every single month is not going to be the same. We are dealing with an unlimited amount of variables. We are dealing with people, okay? I can't predict for you that one of the units or one of the tenants in these units doesn't die tomorrow and can't pay rent or doesn't beat his girlfriend or doesn't lose his job or this or that or this. There's a million variables that happen. So we can't project for you exactly how these properties are going to perform. We can only give you projections on like 
average performance in the short term, looking at one property over like six months, it can be anywhere. But we could mitigate our risks, though, right? We mitigate our risks by finding properties in nicer neighborhoods, by going to places like Cleveland Heights. Yeah, you're going to pay a little bit more for the property, but for guys like Thorsten, you'd prefer to pay more to deal with a lower amount of risks and variables. Can't prevent them, but we could reduce them, right? So keep that in mind. Now, as far as what it looks like, because, dude, you, you want to go ahead and finance this, right? Everybody knows quads are my favorite type of property. Reason being... That is the most rental units you can get per one residential mortgage. Residential mortgages, you're capped at 10 of those suckers, guys. You can only get 10 residential mortgages. Then you got to go to commercial mortgages. When you're getting a residential mortgage, you get the best terms. 30 years, fixed interest, low interest, tax deductible interest, right? Four units is the most, one to four unit properties. So, you know, they're very, very rare though, right? We don't have a million quads in the, in the Cleveland market just on the market for you. So when one pops up, you got to get it. Well, I got you the next best thing here, bro. This is like a triplex, right? There ain't a lot of triplexes either. We got a crap ton of singles and we got a lot of duplexes. Triplexes and quads, a little bit more rare, right? So when you see one, you got pounce, bro. 129.9 is what you're going to pay. With uh, my average estimations of performance, dude, we're looking at a six cap. You get that beautiful residential financing. It's going to be an 8.8% cash on cash return, right? You only need 32 Gs to get into this deal. So that's my thoughts on the property specifically. Now, let's expand upon that, right? Because you had asked me a lot of questions. And, uh, you know, they're very good questions, very important questions. And I want to go through some of those with you now, right? Because I like the property. As you could tell uh, from that footage, I like the property. But some questions that you had uh, specifically mentioned to me that I think is very important for you and I to go through. Number one, let's talk about coin-operated laundry, right? You wanted to know, if we can add a little bit of extra income, get an additional stream of income by installing coin-operated laundry in the basement and charging the tenants, right? We got three tenants, okay? Now, possible. Is it possible? Yes. It's, it's physically possible to do that. We have the ability to do that. We have the resources to do that. So we can do that. But what you guys got to understand when you're investing in real estate is it's not necessarily what's possible. It's what you can sell. What can you sell to the tenant base? What is market competitive? And unfortunately, coin-operated laundry is not going to be market competitive in a Cleveland triplex, right? You're competing with all the other landlords out there who are offering tenants the ability to hook up their own washer and dryer and not pay for that. So uh, in a practical sense, even though, yes, we have the ability to do it, no, we're probably not going to want to do it because we can't really sell that to the tenant base, right? What's important is remaining market competitive at all times. So that's one. Another question you had, you asked me about uh, finishing the basement. Is it possible to finish the basement, possibly put a garden apartment in there? Uh, this is just like the previous question, right? Is it physically possible? Yes, it's physically possible. We can physically do it, but we're probably not going to want to. Now, it's not that we can't necessarily sell it uh, to the tenant base. I mean, we possibly could. But the thing is, there's just so many other apartments out there that they can buy that are going to be above grade. Uh, we would probably always have a very low rental amount, and it would just be cost prohibitive, right? To actually go in there and do that, you know, the, the amount of money we'd need to spend would probably be like 50, 60K, and we'd never get a true uh rental rate right we'd never get the true rental rate for the apartment because there's going to be some just defects to the apartment right number one the ceiling height the ceiling height is always going to be lower number two just the cost that we have to put into this to actually make sure it's totally waterproofed and it's it's not damp. I mean, it's just really not going to work. And it's also going to be really loud, right, because we got the furnaces, the hot water tanks all down there. So I don't think that's a feasible plan. We shouldn't do that. And another question you had asked me was about the third floor unit, right? Because the way these properties were built, they were originally built to be two family homes. And this kind of ties into the basement, right? Right now... It's, you're kind of in a gray area with this property in that third floor unit, right? 
you know, essentially a lot of the municipalities, they're kind of looking the other way when there's a third floor attic apartment. Would it make sense for you to buy a duplex with an unfinished attic and install a third floor apartment? Absolutely not. For the same reasons you wouldn't do it in the basement. It just would be cost prohibitive. It wouldn't make sense. But when you buy or have the opportunity to buy one where there's someone else has already done that many, many years ago, they're, they're, they're in a way kind of grandfathered in. What's key, what's incredibly important is that you have two forms of egress for that tenant, right? What that means is two ways that the tenant can get in and out of the property. This is incredibly important for fires, right? When there's a fire, if there's a fire in the front door, is blocked by fire. They need to have a secondary form of escape, right? So a lot of times you'll see like fire escapes, things of that nature. With this particular property at the moment, we've only been provided that one photo. So we do not 100% know if that second form of egress is already there. If it's not, we'd of course want to add a fire escape, right? Something just very simple. Could be a metal fire escape, could be a wooden structure, something like that. So in a nutshell, uh, it shouldn't be too big of an issue if upon inspection we realize there is no fire escape. You'd have to anticipate the cost of putting that in there to keep the city off your butt. But going forward, if you saw duplexes, note that I would not ever advise you to go ahead and refinish off a third floor and make it a new apartment. Because remember, building codes today, much different than they were back in the day. So you know, just something minimal like doing a fire escape is not going to be enough. There's going to be new codes, new requirements, and the cost, again, it's going to be totally cost prohibitive. With the way prices are in the Cleveland market, instead of spending, you know, 40, 50, 60 grand trying to do a basement apartment or an attic apartment, what you want to do is you want to take those funds and simply buy another duplex property. And then lastly, uh, one more question I just want to touch uh, with you. And, you know, you and I, were doing a bunch of videos together, so as I send you these videos and you come up with more questions, you know, just shoot them to me in an email and I will try to work them in the subsequent videos, right? Uh, one other question you had is uh, you did not know the specific ages of the mechanicals. Oftentimes when the sellers do not physically put it in their listing and tell us like, yo, brand new roof, brand new furnace, brand new hot water tank. What that means is we're going to be working with mid to end of life stuff, right? We know our roofs last 30 years, okay? We know our furnaces last about 30 years. We know our hot water tanks last about 15 years. Very rarely are these properties sold where all of these items are brand new. So typically, if they don't mention it, if they don't highlight it, you guys are going to have to assume they're going to be mid to end of life, right? So it's very common you're going to walk into a property where the furnaces are all 20, 25, 30, 35 years old. Now, don't think that... As soon as like a furnace hits your 30, it just automatically takes a shit and like it doesn't work anymore. I've seen them last 40 years. I've seen them last 45 years. But what I'm not going to stand up here and tell you guys is that your furnace will be good for 40 years. It will be good for 50 years. If you've got a furnace that's somewhere around the 30-year-old range, guys, and it's working, great. Rock it out. But the moment it goes down, you don't want to put five, six hundred dollars of service call work into it. You don't want to continue to try to repair it. What you want to do is just completely replace it. So anticipate mid to end of life mechanicals and know that when service calls come up on these mechanicals, it's probably going to be time for you to replace them. So that's all the thoughts I got on this property for you, Simon. Uh, that's uh all the thoughts I got on your specific question. Again, man, those were great questions. These are the exact kind of questions I want you guys to ask me, man. These are the questions you guys need to get answered before you make the decision to put your hard-earned money in play, right? You got to know this. You got to know where your money's coming from. So great questions, bro. Keep them coming. Everybody else, before we end the show, I want to show you guys something. If you go to holtonwise.com and you click the property search for sale tab, this is how you can work with Holton Wise. This is how you can get properties from us, right? Option one is the investment properties for sale show. That is not what you're watching right now. This is a different show. These are all the properties that my firm has been hired to sell or we own and we're selling to you guys. We're going to give you guys a full video tour and provide you as much detailed information as we can on the property so you can make an informed buying decision. So if you're an investor out there, you know what you want, you know what you like, you want to browse our inventory, you want to you know, just send our team an email, sales at holtonwise.com and make bids, watch this show, subscribe to the mailing list. We'll send the show to you every day at one o'clock. We give you a property every day. Now, Beyond that, you can do this, which is what my dude Simon did, okay? This is a little bit different. This is going to involve 
more one-on-one. One-on-one, -on -one. One -on -one, what you see here, right, in this show. Personalized shows, a personalized investment plan working for you, right? The Investment Properties for Sales show, guys, you know, if you're watching that show, like, you don't need to send my team an email like, hey, I want to buy properties off the Investment Properties for Sales show. I want to buy this kind of property. We don't care. Like, we're sending the same show to everybody. Everybody gets the same show at 1 o'clock. That's what we have to offer. You want to buy it, bid on it. You don't want to buy it, great. Wait till tomorrow, see if the property fits your criteria. If you want this personalized service, you want us to take your criteria, to take your budget, to take your needs, and actively look for properties for you, or like Simon did today, you found one from someone else you think makes sense, and you want me to give you my take on it, this is where you need to be. The MLS Search and Analysis Show, we got various uh, packages, various prices. I like the bigger packages. You can start with just one property, guys, but I like the bigger ones. I like where you get the four-pack or the 10-pack because there's a lot of back and forth. Uh, you know, like this particular property, I analyzed this for another client before I even analyzed it for Simon, and it turns out it just didn't work for that other client, right? We're not going to get you the right property at the right price every single time. That's not how investing works, man. Cleveland's a great market, but it's not like there's just all these super profitable deals just ready to be plucked off the shelf. It's like, oh, you want 25 k in equity? Boom, here you go. That's not how it works, man. And if someone is out there telling you it is, dude, they're blowing smoke up your ass or they don't know what the fuck they're doing, right? We got to work. So we got to find the right property, figure out how much repairs it needs done, get the property for you for the right price. Maybe the seller doesn't want to sell it. Maybe the seller's not trying to do a win-win deal, right? You know, for you guys to make a lot of money, we're not really necessarily trying to do win-win deals. We're trying to extract value out of the marketplace. So you're going to need the bigger packages to work with me for a long period of time to get my team to devote our time and resources to you. So that's why I like the, the bigger packages. So that's that's what I think y'all should do. And then finally, right here, this is what I like. This is another thing that's great for those investors who know what they want, know what they're doing. This is my own direct MLS access. This is very, very cheap. Packages start at as low as 10 bucks, and this is me giving you the data, y'all. Pre-sorted. If you guys are looking for B-class deals, we got them in here for rentals. We got them in here for flips. We got them in here for seller financing. We got singles, doubles, duplexes, comps. The whole nine. If you want the information, you want the data so you can make your bids quicker than anybody else, you need to be here. If you're using Realtor.com to get your comps, you're using Zillow to figure out when properties come on the market, you're behind the curve, dude. This stuff comes out days before those websites get the data. And, dude, you don't have to use Olton Wise to make these bids. If you want to bid directly to the sellers, great. If you're doing direct mail and you're trying to wholesale properties and you need to know the comps of the area, Cool, man. Go in here, grab yourself the comps, arm yourself with the knowledge, folks. So that is how you can work with us. Also, one more thing. Um, if you have properties and you want to sell them and you want us to sell them, we will sell them for you on that investment properties for sales show. So just reach out to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. That's where we get our inventory from, folks. It's folks like you out there who have properties you want to sell. So if you want the number one seller a rentals in the Cleveland market to sell your house, send us an email. We will do so. Put it on Holton Wise TV. That's all I've got for y'all. Simon, reply to this private email right now. Everybody else, if you're watching this show, it's probably two, three months after Simon saw it. We sent them out privately. And only when the deals are done do we publicly release them on Holton Wise TV for everyone to learn. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. U.S. REIB is a full-service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single-family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals. U.S. REIB has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. 
In addition, U.S. Reef is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage. With an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches, FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. RentTech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With RentTech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and RentTech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.